What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. <clears throat> we about to get into Corey in trouble after Maddie shows evidence and tells what happened. Let's get things. What happened with her and Corey, and she also speaks on her pregnancy. Because imagine you're walking around your home, you're naked, like my whole is out, and all I hear is banging on a door, and then I hear my door unlocking. When I had these apartments, I asked them to take off all access because he's he could only lock, unlock my door with his phone. So I asked him to take access off. So that's a whole other thing that I have to obviously deal with. But imagine you're walking. Oh, so he had access to the apartment. Around with your right now. Can you imagine the violation that I felt? And I'm walking from one room to what? Literally the bathroom. My, my room to the bathroom. All I hear is boom, boom, boom. I'm going to be about to get in the shower. Like, have a good day and shit. Like, and all I see is my door unlocked. And I see just somebody charging at me full speed. Like, Nobody would, nobody would ever be able to understand like what that feels like. Because if the person was coming to do what they said they was going to do, and if the, he had a camera the whole time, I was. Remember, I originally did plan to do a YouTube video. I recorded the YouTube video, but I don't have my phone. So not only did he take the phone that he gave me, he took my personal phone. So I just wanted to put that out there. As far as the money allegations and me stealing money, I don't have any. I don't have any money of it. Okay, Maddie, you're lying. Maddie, Maddie. Now he showed your email on there. Unless he put the email on there, I think you're lying about that. Now would I come to the internet and say that I did too? No, that's technically robbery. Okay, that's that's that would be uh, uh, stealing. Okay. Uh, however, comma, definitely change that email. So I think that answers that question. Um, no, I didn't bring out a knife and try to hurt him. That's cap too. Come on now, Maddie, you was, that's what you were supposed to do. I didn't even know that he just walked up in your shit cause you wasn't close to your block Yana. I still breathing. Um, I want to put it out there. I'm glad that he's still breathing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let me address a couple things for some of you weirdos. Corey ain't never did shit to me. I don't have Corey's number. We never beefed. I, I don't have a problem with him at all. Stupid shit. So when they put things on the internet like this, you talk about it. That's my right. I have an opinion and I'll talk about it. But... Somebody said, I don't think you like Corey. It was a man, too. I don't think you like Corey, and I think you want something bad to happen to him. I think you're a gaslighter just like Corey. Come on, man. I never said, I want Corey to die. No, but I am an advocate for women defending themselves. Because, see, men like to put hands on women and think just because they're a woman and, you know, men are stronger and things like that, that you can't keep, you know, get brought down to your knees. That's what I don't like. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I, I absolutely don't support men putting their hands on women. It's not, it's not a thing for me. I also don't support women putting their hands on men. So I've always said, if you put your hands on a man, he got every right to knock your ass out. Cause that's what you decided to do. You know what I'm saying? And even in some cases when Corey did say Carmen put his, her hands on him, he had the right to hit her back. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Corey acts like he's innocent in a place that you're not. You're not innocent. He's a gaslighter, just like you were in that comment. I just feel like you think him bad. You want him bad to have him to him. Men love to use them type of words. Not all men I'm talking to, a small group of them. That's called gaslighting. You can't gaslight me. I just I think you want him bad to have him I'm grown as hell. I don't want nothing bad to happen to nobody. However, don't walk in my shit while I'm butt booney. Trying to go take me a shower right quick with your phone out, violating me, breaking in my shit. Got your phone out, uh, knowing you coming in here, you know, with some bullshit. He's lucky she wasn't near the Glockiana. That's all I'm saying. I don't want nothing to happen to the man, but you also shouldn't just walk in people's house either. You know what I'm saying? But it's not here nor there. Just, I'm just confused. I, I, I almost want to say I wish I could have. That's how fucked up the situation was yesterday. 
Um, but here we are. I, I think that answers pretty much all of your questions. Um, oh, his laptop. His laptop, I did break his laptop after he broke mine. Let me show you guys. So remember, Corey said that he accidentally stepped on her laptop as if anybody is stupid. And he broke my laptop with his bare You stepped on it, Corey? Hands. Like, bare hands. Like, I was like, oh, this nigga's strong. Like, look at this. And did some shit like that. I can't even, even try to even try to do what the fuck he did. But, um, yes. Remember that nigga came on there victimizing. He broke my laptop. So as you took that laptop, Squoze it, cause that don't look like you stepped on it, nigga. A step look like a step. It looked like you cracked it and then tried to bend it this way. That's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> but I accidentally stepped on her laptop. And do you know this bitch broke my laptop? It's my money maker. How dare you break my laptop? But you broke mine, you simple man. Uh <laughs> He broke his, I broke his laptop after he broke my laptop. I ran downstairs and he, as he was in the middle of flattening my car tires, like, he was on. in the middle of taking the air out of my car tires come so that on. I wouldn't be able to go nowhere. And the white, the white guy that works here, he, I don't mean to call him a white guy, but I don't know what to call him. A guy, he called the cops. I am not answering. Uh, maybe later down the line, but right now, all y'all gotta know is that I'm not pregnant anymore. That's all y'all have to know. Was I pregnant? 1,000%. Am I pregnant now? No. That's all that matters. The rest of it, like, it's something that, like, I wish I never even brought to the internet. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I never was so mad on live that I didn't say- Maddie's absolutely calculated. I will say, I don't think she was pregnant. I don't think she was pregnant. I could be absolutely wrong, but I, I, I'm i with him on this one. I don't think she was pregnant that shit because there's no like that's all i'm gonna say i wish i never i could go back in time i wish i never did that she might have been i don't know i don't know but <sighs> y'all don't understand like what it's like to be in my shoes so yeah i really do wish i didn't do that i do because i understand i'm not saying i, I understand why you're asking a thousand questions and shit because it's like bitch you brought it you said it you should never said it so i i 1000 percent understand like Forgot I had that. He took his phone that he gave me, which he has all right to, because the cop did say if he paying for it, it's his phone. That's no problem. Fuck that phone. My phone, my iPhone 15 Pro. That phone is my phone. That so how was he able to take that one and the police was right there? That phone was taken from me. Damn. And if the cop said that he was able to take that one, then why wasn't he able to give you your phone back? That's fucked up. He didn't answer that part. I think I did do it. I think I did do it. Report the phone is stolen. I, d I did that on this, and when I went to Apple, I didn't tell Apple that though. I did tell Apple what happened, so yeah, the fuck? And they said that I, they said that I did it. But the reason why, I, I don't wanna say what I wanna say on live, but the reason why I'm feeling like it didn't happen, because the nigga was doing all types of shit. So it's like, it's not given that it really got locked. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, see it says Mark is lost, and it has a lock on next to the phone, like it's locked, and it says pending. Why wouldn't you bring that closer? <clears throat> it's giving she lying about that too. But how, so how he got access to all this other shit that I see, like that I saw that was that's the part that I'm missing. Unless I was logged in on his on the other phone. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because I was also logged into that stuff on that phone. That's probably. I don't believe this either. Why? <clears throat> I don't believe her. I believed her yesterday. I don't believe her today. Cause she would have showed it. Both of them be lying. Yeah, type shit. This nigga never got inside my phone, I don't think. I don't know. I'll never know, to be honest. I don't know. Whole point is that I just want my iCloud back. I don't want the phone back. I don't know. Please, God, Jesus. I don't want it back. I don't want it, I don't want it back. I don't want it back. Sell it. Jump off a bridge with it. Do I live in, no, I do not live in Houston. I live in um, Georgia. Is that your natural hair length? Um, or did you, or did you cut it? This is my natural hair length, but like I've cut my hair before, yes. 
Um, <clears throat> I come in here all the time, actually. <clears throat> I don't think she's suing him about the phone. She just Did told him to keep it, sell it, whatever. Your degrees at all. So my communications and theater degree, like I guess theater in a sense, me pursuing my acting career, I guess that's using it. My communications degree, I feel like communications degree is so generic. So I feel like in an essence, it kind of like, it's like an umbrella for a lot of things. So you can do communications with anything. That's why I know how to speak really well. Um, so I guess that's technically like act, I'm actively using it in a sense without using it. But as far as like corporate and things like that, like Jalen, no, not really. Um, my master's degree in psychology, I used it. I used it because I was a um, behavioral health therapist. Oh, sugar honey, I see for middle schoolers. <clears throat> and I only used it for about six months before I said, fuck no. And then I became a social service technician. And that's what I was. I'm going to save the live head start so in a sense i also feel like that was kind of like a little bit of my psych degree but like mm, i can't say that it was for real all the way and um then after that i kind of used my psych degree because i went and got a certification in ux ui so i went i wanted to get into tech and that's a user experience user and um interface designer so the person who like designs the apps and stuff that you guys are on and designs like how to like I, I know how to create an app i know how to design an app shit like that i did that i've paid like okay a voice needed eight minutes psychology goes into that having to know how the mind works how people think when people when people go go on an app how how they interact with the app like what's the first like it's kind of like when you walk in a room and the first thing you do to turn on the lights is let's say you walk in the room you're gonna go to the right oh yeah we at 12 minutes get the hell off here y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i ain't gonna lie some of the stuff i do believe some of the stuff i absolutely don't believe at all uh both of them just crying wolf at this point um but i'm appreciative for the tea all right y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i'm done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all hey